Medicare uh, tax that is based on their income. All right. Thank you. Ms. Elmers is recognized. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And um, Congressman Waxman, you know, we keep hearing about emergency, emergency, emergency. What does that translate into for the American people? Essentially, if this is an emergency, then the government shouldn't have to pay for it, and we shouldn't have to find pay for it. Unless, of course, you want to tax the hardworking small business owners who are our job providers in this country. That's what I'm hearing, and that's, I think... Well, I think you're incorrect in what you're no, hearing. Let me, let me go on. I'm, I'm not yielding my time. Now, if this were an emergency, we would have passed this at the end of the year, 2011. Emergency, this would have been taken care of. That is why what you say is completely and totally incorrect. This is not an emergency. The American people are in hardship. We need to come up with solutions. We have got to pay for it. That is what they are asking for. They want accountability. They want efficiency. And they are tired of continuing on. You know, Senator Cardin, we keep hearing about fairness from you. Fairness. The purveyor of fairness. How is it fair? To continue to ask our seniors, and I, I apologize because I'm going to digress here for a moment. How is it fair that we have asked our seniors to have a cola freeze for two years, and yet we will continue to pay our federal workers without that? Is that fair to our seniors? There was a freeze. Do, do you want me to respond? We tried to change it. We tried to. Yeah. The point being, that already existed, and now you are basically saying that our federal employees who make more than those in the private sector should not be touched. Moving on to this proposal, when we're talking about individuals with Medicare Part B who are of the higher income, $400,000, we're asking them to pay in the Medicare Part B, they'll pay $300, little over $300 a month for their premium. This is the President's proposal. The three provisions we have put forward today for the $70 billion are all bipartisan, have already been bipartisan. Why is it today in this conference committee that all of a sudden it is not? These are things that Republicans and Democrats have voted on in the past. That is why they were chosen, because they were already in agreement. And yet, somehow today, they're not. How is that possible? Ms. Schwartz voted, voted for the pay, pay freeze. That's, that's a good indication of where we're at. And yet, we're continuing on as this charade as if that's not the case. This is the president's language. Which one of you is going to go to the president and tell him that you don't agree with his policy? I'd like to see that. We have got to move forward. We have all said that this is a time-sensitive issue. We should have taken care of it by the end of the year. It should have been done. Should have been done. But it was not. So here we are today. Let's move forward. We already all agree on these provisions. Let's move forward. We're $70 billion. We're halfway there. Thank you. I yield back. Senator Bob, there's 11 minutes.